Hey, it's James Raby. We have to say something here, but I don't want to say much. Thanks for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand Podcast. Love you. Early Morning Show, Smile of the Day. Hi, it's James Raby. How are you doing? Man, we got a sunny day ahead of us. Looking forward to it. Low 70s. Mm-mm. So CBS says a nurse, CBS says a nurse recently saved a baby on Spirit Airlines from Pittsburgh to Orlando. Uh, for whatever reason, the baby stopped breathing. But you know, people around the baby, mom, dad, whoever, even the people in other aisles were freaking out. Luckily, a nurse was on hand and revived the three-month-old, got it breathing again, and the flight attendants were all part of it. The whole thing was just like a, like a team effort. And, of course, everyone applauded with relief when it finally happened and the baby started crying again. First responders met the family, and they're checking them out, and apparently everything's fine. It just was a fluke. But what a fluke. Oh, my gosh. You're listening to Y105 FM's early morning show. It's the Y105 FM. It's going to warm up to about 73. Hi, it's James Raby. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. I'm James Raby. Did I say I'm James Raby? I'm James Raby. Wow. If you were just tuning in for the first time, you'd think my ego was huge. (laughs) All right, let's talk about what we're going to talk about here, which is it's National Start a business day. And I want to know when you were a kid, what did you want to start as a business? What was your thing? And who was it? Let's see. This was uh, Sandy on the Y105 of the map said, when I was in grade school, I was always looking for investors in my future milk company. My thinking went like this. You know, milk chocolate? I like milk chocolate a lot better than just normal chocolate. So my idea was to make milk chocolate milk. I was convinced that I was going to be a billionaire. You might have been. Milk, chocolate, milk, do we have that? Anybody? Kemp's? Did you get on it? I know that you mostly make ice cream there on Broadway, but if you make uh, any milk stuff, let's try out some milk, chocolate, milk. What do you say? Um, I want to start my own business. Uh, Sally said, my friend and I were going to buy sloths and have them wrestle. <laughs> it cost 15 bucks to watch. Sloth wrestling. Now, I have no idea, but that sounds like it might be inappropriate. Um, let's see. John said, I was infuriated. I'm sorry, I was infatuated with making a toothbrush that had dental floss built into the handle. It came from watching too many Mission Impossibles. Just, you just flipped it open, like the back of a remote where the batteries are, and you pulled your floss out. I still think it might work. I don't much like my job, so maybe I should see if I could make it on Shark Tank. Billy Mays here with floss brush. <laughs> John, you are a hoot and a holler. How about you? Did you have a, a dream job when you were a kid? I don't think I did. I don't think I tried to make a job. I don't think I tried to create a business. I don't think I did any of that. I don't think. Yeah, I, I mean, I showed, I'd shine my dad's shoes for 10 cents, but that was like a chore list. And if I did it every day, he would pay me every day. Or once he said, well, could you give me an invoice at the end of the month? <laughs> So I made up an invoice at the end of the month. I think I racked up a whole $2 because I got sick and tired of shining shoes. You're listening to Y105 FM's Early Morning. Get FM's Early Morning Show. I want to start my own business day. I asked you to send a message on the Y105 FM app telling me what business you wanted to start or did start when you were a kid. And Angie said, when I was four or so, I took my Fisher-Price chair, went outside to the street below my house, and offered the service of sitting in my chair for a... $100. $100. My friend from up the street was my only customer, but he paid me an invisible money, so it's kind of a wash. <laughs> Angie, that is great. That is just great. And I can imagine you walking out there, going to make some money. Also, let's see, Dane, when I was 11, I started a business to sell stars. Paper stars or ninja stars? No, actual stars like the sun. It shut down when my dad said, you can't con people, kid. Are you serious? That could be a real, that could be a real, real sales opportunity. Someone walks in, ding, ding. I should be, whoop, whoop, or whatever now. Uh, yeah, hi. One galaxy, please. I don't need a bag. What do you think? It's Y105 FM's early morning show. Alcohol was involved in a head-on crash that killed a Rochester motorcyclist. Find out who it was and what happened at the Y105 FM early morning show news minute next. It's the Y105 FM. The State Patrol says alcohol was was involved in a head-on crash that killed Rochester motorcyclist Rick Hutton Saturday night. 
Good morning. I'm James Raby. This is the Y105 FM Early Morning Show News Minute. About a mile north of Chatfield on Highway 52, the motorist was traveling south on the highway when he collided with a northbound SUV. The state patrol says alcohol was detected in the SUV driver. Updates on this story? You'll find them on the Y105 FM app. Other stories on our app this morning. Rochester man allegedly impaired and speeding at more than 100 miles an hour. Tainted ground beef found in mail order meal prep service. And Harry L. Buck. A well-known Rochester educator passed away Thursday. He was 92. And the rabies shot? The doe head today was in Las Vegas, Nevada at the airport. She had reportedly dined and dashed at Chili's and then took off to the baggage claim. Took a nap. When they confronted her, she got all nasty and spitty and said, The only reason you're, you're arresting me was because I'm so pretty. And now, some free verse. My name is Doehead, and I'm so pretty. The popo stepped in to stop me. I did get petty with chilies, it's true, but baby back ribs are the best kind of foo. Duh. That's just so beautiful. Well, I want a 5 FM weather for today. Sunny and 73. Tonight, clear, a low 49. Oh, I love the cool nights. And tomorrow, sunny and 78. Again for today, beautiful, kind of cool for this area. 73 and sunny. Right now, 53, and we're feeling free. Coming up in about 12 minutes, sass and varnish among the older and wiser set on the Y105 FM early morning show. Who says you can't have fun at work? The sass and varnish of the older and wiser set. Hi, it's James Raby on Y105 FM's early morning show. Beth left this awesome message about someone she knows that has piles of sass and varnish on the Y105 FM app. She just hit voicemail. I have a great aunt, 92 years old, and she has outlived, now get this, four husbands, and she plays golf. She goes to the tanning bed. She goes out and parties. I can't believe that, but she does. I mean, like, she'll go to the bar and drink, and we can't believe it. She's just, she's a crazy, crazy woman. She looks great. She really does. But, yeah, she goes to the tanning bed, and, oh, and she skis. I mean, when you saw that, if you see this woman, you would think she's probably maybe 70. You know, Sinatra said, get busy living or get busy dying. And I love hearing stories like that. Thanks so much, Beth. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. Of course, we know last week, Queen Elizabeth II passed away at the age of 96. Man, she she was hailed for having a great sense of humor and also one of the most revered supporters of horse racing and racing in all of England. And, of course, all kinds of sass and varnish came from her, but very queen-like from what I understand, right? So I want to hear your stories about someone you know with piles of sass and varnish. And Susie, what's your story? Probably my mom. She's one of a kind. You'll never know what's coming out of her mouth or what she's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be going down the road, and she'll lift her hands off the steering wheel. My niece will be like, Grandma, no, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> she'll start dancing and all kinds of crazy just to try to embarrass my niece. Um, I don't know. There's just so many things. Very unpredictable. That's very cool. That's very cool. I have known so many awesome people. Uh, there's a gal named Mary Bowen, who's from the Twin Cities area, advised a key club, still advises a key club. She has to be close to 90-something and manages a family resort. They own a resort uh, campground kind of thing. She's fantastic, and she ha- she's called Crazy Mary. But what she is is just incredibly full of life and vigor. It just, it's in her genes, I think. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. How about you? Who do you know with all kinds of sass and varnish? Why? 105 FM's 8 a.m. all music hour? This is breaking news from some baby. And a bride sang a Little Mermaid parody at her wedding. And it's pretty funny. It's uh, part of your world from Little Mermaid. Now, she is, she's a professional cruise ship performer, so she sings amazingly well. Thank you. And after so long, sat in sweatpants on Zoom. And if you're just here to get drunk, well, everyone, there's the bar. So if you're here, we love you a lot. And thank you for watching us tie the knot. And enjoy the food and drink lots of booze on our special day. It is Y105 FM. It's early morning. Are you remodeling your home? Dine and dash. There's never a reason to dine and dash. It's just poopy. You know if you have the money ahead of time or not. All right? All right. So here's the deal. This is a rabies shot. That's Doughheads in the news. And it goes out to the woman that dined and dashed in Vegas. She went to uh, Vegas Airport Chili's where they have a baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. I am given to understand. 
And people want these baby back, baby back, baby back ribs, also given to understand. And she ate her baby back ribs and then took off the D&D, dined and dashed. She ran to the, uh, the, the baggage claim area. And I'd like to think that she took a nap on the carousel, hopefully while luggage was coming in because that's funny. But there's no indication that that's the case. She did take a nap, however, and when the law enforcement folks caught up with her, airport cops, Paul Blart, I don't know what, right? I have no idea. I don't think they're hauling out the TSA for this. Um, she got really mad and spitty. Why do people go to spitting? I don't get it. So gross. So, so, so gross. Uh, and, of course, she had a great excuse for why she behaved the way she did. And then, because she said she was hungry, and then she said... The only reason you are reason you are arresting me is because I'm so pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. That's absolutely the reason. They they looked throughout the entire airport for the prettiest person they could find, and they arrested her. Yeah, you know there might be a lot of flawed law enforcement in this world, but none of them are arresting anyone for being too pretty. Good lord. On the other hand, you never hear this stuff at RST because we got great cops around us, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. Coffee this morning is exceptional. Like you needed to hear that. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. I wrote a little poem, a little poem about this gal. My name is Doughhead, and I am so pretty, the popo stepped in to stop me. See, pretty and me. That's supposed to rhyme there, but I didn't quite get the iambic pentameter right, I don't think. I, I'm not even sure what that is. But I know the words, so it must mean something. I did get petty with chilies, it's true, but baby back ribs are the best kind of foo. Duh. Thank you very much. I will literally be here all week. Y105 FM's early morning show. It's the Y105 FM first free. Hey, it's James Raby. Thank you so much for listening to the Y105 FM early morning show, radio on demand podcast. I hope you'll subscribe and tune in Monday through Friday between 6 and 10 for more fun than you can shake a stick at.